Hey, what's up guys? I thought what better way to show you or give you a few laps than telling you a few high school stories. I feel like I hold myself together very well in my videos and that if you don't personally know me or went to high school with me, then you don't know exactly how crazy I really am. So if you don't know, you're about to figure it out today. I really hope this video doesn't make me <laughs> look like a bad person. Uh, but you know, when you're 16 and you're a girl, Okay, this sounds like this video is going in a different direction, but that's all I'm talking about. <laughs> I was a little bit, li little, little tiny bit, just, just a little bit of a troublemaker in high school. So I apologize to all my teachers because there was this one teacher, and I guess this will be my first story. <laughs> my freshman year, I had this English teacher, and she just really didn't like anyone, like, at all. No, she, it wasn't me. It was definitely her. <laughs> so yes, freshman year, I had this English class. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen that episode of Spongebob where he goes to visit Sandy and he doesn't have any water and he's like, water! Like, I can't even do it anymore. But he's like, basically like, water, water! And we would all just start saying, water! Like, <laughs> I can't even do it anymore. But she would think that we were so serious that she'd be like, oh, oh my god, oh my god, we'll, we'll go get some water. And just the whole time whenever she would turn around around the board, we'd be like, water, I need water. Like, and, she <laughs> and she didn't know sometimes who it was or what it was, but she, she believed that some of us were really dying. And she's like, whoever needs water, please, please go get it. And I don't know if that's funny, but to us it was extremely funny. For some reason, with that teacher, I just really, really, really liked to mess with her. I don't know what it was. I think it's just because she took everything so seriously that why couldn't, you know, why shouldn't I mess with her? So <laughs> I used to do this thing where she'd be standing in front of the class and I would like look around, just look around at the class and then I'd turn my head real quick and I'd stare at her. And for some reason, this made her believe that I was like actually crazy. But yeah, I went a little bit like this. <laughs> but probably more dramatic. And so this teacher used to email my mom once a week and give my mom weekly updates on my behavior in class. And I know that she probably thinks that, um, you know, by her telling my mom, my mom was like disciplining me or something or that she was getting something out of it. But really, my mom thought it was pretty funny, too. Or did you, mom? Did you not think it was funny? Because I thought it was funny. To me, it was funny. I was debating whether to tell you guys, like, one story per video, but I wasn't too sure how long the video would be or if it would be too short if I just told you one story. So I figured, since this is my first story time video, that I would just tell you multiple stories. And then y'all let me know if you want to see more. If not, well then, I guess... You'll never know. So I hope this next story doesn't make you think I'm a huge grudge holder because I don't even hold grudges, but this story I'm about to tell you happened because I was just so pissed off at how my school had handled things. And I'll tell you what had happened before to make me do what I had done. So my high school used to have a lot of football games, soccer games and things like that outside. And it would be like, I think like seven bucks to go in. So one day I had one of my friends to watch I don't remember if it was a football game or a soccer game, but let's say it's a football game. And I had walked out to walk my friend to her car. And I had planned to go back in, so I had left my phone, my keys, everything, like, in the bleacher with my other friends. And when I had walked to her car with her and came back, they were telling me, okay, you have to pay to get back in. Which I understand that. I'm like, okay, whatever. But my phone and my keys are still, like, on the bleachers. And they're like, I'm sorry, you have, you have to pay to get in. And I'm like, I can't even pay to get back in because my wallet is with my phone and my keys. And this lady, this lady, I don't know, I guess she was a teacher, not a teacher I had, thank God, wouldn't let me in to get my stuff. My camera just shut off on me mid-story. For some reason, this really, really, really got to me, like, deeper than anything I think's ever gotten to me. <laughs> So for the next football game, I gathered all the pennies and nickels, probably honestly not even dimes, I'm pretty sure it was just pennies and nickels, that I could, $7 worth. <laughs> and I brought it up 
in a plastic bag for the next time. I was like, okay, this lady wants to act like this. Okay, cool. Next time I come, I'm paying in all pennies. Pennies and nickels. But this is where the story is kind of sad. Um, the lady at the next football game was a different lady. So I'm standing in line and I didn't bring any backup cash at all. This is literally a plastic bag. And at this moment, like, I don't think I've ever looked more ghetto ever. And I'm pretty sure everyone was thinking the same thing. And it was a different lady. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, <laughs> I empty the bag and I'm counting it. And I'm telling her, I'm like, I am so sorry. And I swear this lady probably thinks really though, like I am so broke and so ghetto. And I know the 20 people in line behind me probably thought the same thing. So was it worth it? No, but if it would have been the same lady, I would have done it a hundred times more. That has got to be probably the most outlandish thing that I've done. I'm going to share one more story with you guys. And if you guys really like this video, then I promise I will do more story times. Last story that I'm going to tell you actually isn't really about me, but it is about somebody that I have known for a long time, actually. And we were in high school together. And I hope he doesn't mind me telling this story, but I'm going to go ahead and tell it because honestly... To me, it is probably the funniest thing that I've ever seen happen. Uh, I don't know if he thinks that. I know when it had happened, it was very upsetting. I'm pretty sure it was my junior year. We paid to take a trip to Bush Gardens. Our closest Bush Gardens, I think, is like four, four and a half-ish hours away. Well, the very first ride we went on, I actually went on with my friend Lou and also this guy named Isaiah. And Lou was wearing these basketball shorts and they had like pockets and he had his phone in it. And our very first ride was a roller coaster. And when we went on the roller coaster, Lou had the phone in his pocket. It's one of those ones that like goes upside down. And uh, it may or may not have flown out, flown, fallen out of his pocket. And the way that this roller coaster was set up was like, when you wait in line, you're not like waiting on, in line like on the cement or concrete. You're waiting in line and like on high, higher up wood. I guess I don't know what you would call it, like a deck I guess and where you like get on the platform of the roller coaster you can't like if something falls you can't go down there and get it because it's like so far from where people are standing if that makes sense and yes he had he didn't realize but when he got off the roller coaster he checked his pockets and realized or he may have even realized when we were on it but honestly I don't remember that his phone had flown out of his pocket and me and Isaiah thought it was the funniest thing probably ever and Lou was so pissed and because it was like the very first ride of the day it was like probably like eight or nine in the morning he was pissed off for the rest of the day but still to this day I think that is probably the funniest thing that's ever happened I hope you all found these videos as enjoyable as I did by telling you so if you want to hear more let me know I have a whole bunch of high school stories stories growing up when I was a kid boot camp stories a whole bunch of stuff like that so if y'all like this video let me know and i can do more of this stuff for you all right guys i will see you guys next week love you